and uh, connect with Mr. Bharat Madan, Group Financial Controller at Escorts. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay, so uh, what we understand is that the the GST rate on certain tractor components has been brought down to 18% from 28% earlier. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think this is what the industry wanted and we have been representing to the government also on these lines because the earlier rate of 28% was leading to inverted duty structure where we have industry would have faced a lot of cash flow issues in getting the refund back from the government. So I think this move is pretty welcome. I think the industry was really wanting it desperately. So this will also solve the problem for many components for the spare parts sale to the farmer, which otherwise the prices would have gone up by about 8 to 10%. So I'm mm -hmm. just sure this will be something which will be welcome by the farmer community as well. Sure. So now with this reduction coming through, what impact can we expect on prices, if at all? Well, the existing rates on parts were actually effectively at about 18%. So effectively there will be no change in the current prices. But when the earlier rate proposed was 28 percent, that was something which was leading up to increase in the working capital costs for the companies, which probably would have led to some price increases. Mm. But again, I think it's something which we need to look at the fine print because not all parts would have been put under 18 percent category. A lot of parts which are common to automobile industry, which probably still attract 28 percent duty. There's only parts which are selectively used probably for tractor industry have been put under 18 percent category. But as of now, I'm not sure. We have to look at the fine print and see what is the total impact on the industry. On this. Yeah, because the finance minister in the briefing today only mentioned tractor components. He did not talk about any other form of uh, auto components. But uh, now that you're saying that with 18%, this becomes pretty much tax neutral and price neutral, right? So then what should we expect as far as your local tractor sales are concerned, concern, uh, concerned come the 1st of July? So industry still has one open issue which is left. I'm not sure whether that has been addressed in this meeting today, which is regarding the transition issues when the stocks held by the dealers and the depots by the manufacturers. So that is one very critical issue where a lot of inventory is lying with the dealers and the channel is not really sure what to do on 1st of July. So hopefully if that issue would have been addressed because the earlier tractors were exempted from excise and now they've been put under 12% rate category. So any tractors which are in stock with the dealers, if they need to tax at 12%, and they don't get any input tax credit, which is the way the law is worded today, then they are obviously going to get negatively impacted by 7 to 8 percent, which is not really appreciated from by the channel. So that probably will lead to some price increases temporarily. So if our representation to the government was to probably allow that team credit on those factors, inputs also to the dealer stocks. So then it thing would have been cash neutral for the company. So can you give us some sense of the overall inventory that's lying right now? Because, I mean, just in terms of, you know, the value, the quantum, um, where this is an outstanding issue with respect to current inventory? I think between the manufacturers and the dealers, anywhere between two to three months inventory would be there. So you can look at the tax impact of combined about 500 to 600 crores for the industry total. And this inventory roughly would be worth how much if you sort of take average ballpark prices? So roughly, look at roughly as an average of five lakh rupees per tractor. So it'd be anywhere between say seven thousand five hundred, uh, maybe, maybe even higher. So roughly one hundred fifty thousand tractors you can take on on the conservative basis at five lakh rupees. All right. So um, what is it that you are proposing to mitigate this bit of a risk with respect to the inventory? So it requested the government to allow input tax credit on the on the tractor stock which are held by the dealers. So in spite of the fact that there are no duty point documents available with the dealers as of now, so the way the law is structured today, it says on the exempted products which are not taxed so far, there will be no deemed tax credit will be available. So the representation of the industry has been to allow that input tax credit on the tractor stock sold by the dealers, so either based on the manufacturer's certificate or some sort of credit transfer document, which is the way it has been proposed for other industries in the last council meeting. Mm. So some mechanisms need to be found out for that. So I think once that is done, then probably industry will be risk-free and from the tax perspective. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Madan, thanks so much for joining in and sharing some of those important points with us.